One billion is a big number, says every average lion supporter. You know what else is big? A big ass meteor moving full speed towards Earth that immediately gets destroyed by Rayquaza ramming face first into a moving meteor and coming out unscathed. Case closed. Yeah, but one billion is a large number and there was only one- SHUT THE F*** UP! This is only one example of a Pokemon out of 900 Pokemon, some of which might as well be gods. Or wait, are gods. I could go on forever about different reasons that godlike Pokemon can kill all lions, like the baby Hitler dilemma, the god of time can just go back in time and kill the first baby lion and problem solved. One billion isn't even as big of a number as you might imagine. I know that sounds crazy, but if you think about it, there are almost 8 billion people in the world, and yet there are huge stretches of land where there is no human in sight. Like up here, or down here, or in the state of Florida where you can find three people in an insane asylum and a family at Disney World. If one billion is such a big number, then why is one person able to own a billion dollars? One person can't own a billion dollars because that's a large number. Blah! Jeff Bezos is worth 171 billion dollars. Why and how is someone allowed to have that much money then if it's such a big number? Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. But all of this isn't even accounting for things like moves that Pokemon can learn, or even just a Pokemon existing. Some people like to make the argument of Pokédex entries, which I think is kind of stupid because a lot of them are really unrealistic. Everybody brings up McCargo's Pokédex entry that states it's constantly at 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which if you don't know, the sun is only about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So basically, whatever side of the world McCargo's on is probably just going to be up in front which obviously isn't happening in the games. But even so, how is any amount of lions supposed to figure out how to kill living lava and not just kill it once but twice? These aren't even legendary Pokemon, they're just normal Pokemon that exist. Oh, and remember how we had a Pokemon that can run through world-ending meteors like it was nothing? I forgot to mention that all of these Pokemon can summon meteors at will with Draco Meteor and cause a mass lion E extinction! But maybe this move shouldn't count, as if it were taken seriously, the world probably would not have any life on it once one Pokemon figured out they could just do that. Even without moves like that, a good chunk of Pokemon have telekinetic abilities, like an Alakazam can just float in the air and pick up a whaler to throw it around into lines like a Gmob ragdoll, or a Tornadus can just create a tornado and make the newest sequel to Sharknado, but with lions. Lionado? Even if the Tornadus missed some of the lions, how would they get up to him in the air? Lion Ladder? Lion Mountain? This entire hypothetical situation is aiding lions too, because this is assuming you can get a billion lions to coordinate to even try to kill all the Pokemon and not just kill each other from being jealous of too many men being around their female lions. All of this and I haven't even talked about if how Arceus evil is evil is evil to the is 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 the the is the is the is the is the is the is 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 the is the is 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 Hey, I worked really hard on this video. If you like it, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate that. Thank you.